Hi guys, Zylene here. <clears throat> I thought I was going to do a, a journal, uh, art journal page. And I made this sign earlier, earlier this week. It wasn't your fault. And um, it was a, a sign just to share with girls who have been sexually abused um, on Facebook and I shared it and it was just all white with the, the black stamping and then I added some spray inks that I made to it and I thought I was going to use it but I don't want to tear it up or anything so I'm actually going to make it into a art journaling page so yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'm taking a break from all my um, assembly line stuff here that I've been making my kits and stuff for my girls and I've been making decorations and stuff for the while up conference so that's why I haven't had any videos really much like up lately been so busy working with that I'm making like um, the big centerpiece type things in the gymnasium like on the ceiling um, I'm trying to make two kind of chandelier things like with the with the the balls the um, <clears throat> paper ball things I don't know what they're called those paper ball chandelier things um, that you hang, and I'm going to hang them to hula hoops, and I'm going to hang different flower balls and whatnot. So I'm going to try to make two huge on either side of the gym, kind of centered on either end, huge uh, pieces like that hanging <clears throat> for the, the girls' conference. And I'm hoping to, actually I was thinking, how do I make them kind of, when they have their lights dim and stuff, I was going to actually put some glow sticks inside them, um, for the first night, they have concerts and that kind of thing, so that will work really, really well. For the second day, it will be during the day, and it won't be so, I don't think, so dramatically dark in the gymnasium when they have their speeches and stuff, so I think it will be fine. Anyways, that was my idea for that. So, it wasn't your fault, and I wanted to make it into a art journaling Or, yeah, page. And a lot of times I do take my pages and make them outside of my art journal and then paste them, especially when I have lots of my one page is up and one page is down because I have a bunch of stuff in it. So I'm making the crease just now. Um, I'm not going to cut it apart yet because I'm not sure what else I want to do. I'm thinking of throwing some tissue paper on there and showing you guys how I put texture on stuff with tissue paper. So that will be kind of cool. I have strips of tissue paper left over from making my last centerpieces for my fundraiser. So I'm going to glue those on here. I'm going to crumple them up though. I'm trying to talk loud. My kids are being really loud downstairs too. My kids and my granddaughter are singing karaoke downstairs in their room. And it's really loud. So I'm gonna open my glue. I'm gonna use the pot mod podge. And wow, that was hard. <laughs> I have no idea, guys, but this year has been really, really hard on my joints. Uh, this is really the first time it's been like that for me. I really think I hurt my knees when I went hunting. <laughs> and now my knees and my legs have been really giving me a lot of problems. When you go and you have weak um, limbs or something, weaker because of damage, you know, working and whatnot, Wear your braces when you go do stuff like hunting and like long hikes and whatnot. Man, I learned my lesson. So I'm gonna put some glue all over, and I'm gonna throw on my I'm gonna throw on my oh, there's my daughter, one of them. I have five of those. Five girls and two boys. Crazy. Crazy around here with the girls, man. Goodness. 
now that they're getting all older, I have um, just a 11 year old and a 7 year old left. The other ones are all kind of, well, Chloe's 12, so she's got her, you know, big girl stuff. Oh boy, it's a busy family when we all, all us girls are here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's crabby city around here. And my poor husband's all on his own. Well, my son is here, but yeah. Yep, so I'm gonna put more. Tear that off at the end again. Now I'm going to add more glue to the bottom here. I'm just kind of, a lot of times I usually put glue over top and I will and I'm just throwing it on the bottom first here. See what I'm doing. Playing with it as I go. Mm, okay, I didn't get the edge very well. Didn't get my edge very well. I feel like I'm at such a messy crapper, crapper, craft, crafter these days. <clears throat> Trying to be loud. It's so hard, guys. That's that for that. Now I think I'm going to stamp, um, Something on the bottom. What do I want to stamp on the bottom? I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to use black. Stamp them up with ink. And I think I'll just grab a random stamp. I'm going to grab this one here. And I really have to get this camera thingy all worked out. So I'm going to stamp this stamping on here. Now I'm going to add some glue before it gets too. Usually I glue it right off the back on the top, but I wanted to, I was thinking about adding some stamping to it, so I'm going to mod podge the top, I'm so cluttered right now, it's not even funny, not even funny at all. Now, I hope I put enough glue in the bottom here, because it's kind of got lifted paper, but it'll work. Oh, you know what? I should use my gel medium. I've got gel medium in the mail with my so fabulous um, gesso. That didn't turn out. I still got to try to fix it. I just haven't had the time because I've been working. I got gel medium in the mail, so I'm like happy. And I also got um, that paste stuff. Mold modeling paste. I've never actually bought it. I've always used like uh, polyfill <coughs> or... Um, made my own invention so this is going to be the first time using the real stuff so I actually I'll, I'll use it today on here that'll be fun I think right so let's glue this puppy down or modge it <laughs> modge it I'm so messy look at that I'm ripping it I'm ripping it Okay, I'm not liking the way I overlap it here, so I'm actually trying to get it to stick there, so it looks a little bit torn. So now I'm going to glue it, or I mean um, heat tool it. I'm going to pause it video for a second, because now I think I can do that. Before I was like... <laughs> 
learning how to do all this stuff. So give me a second. I'm going to heat tool it. Okay, so now it's dry, and I cut the edges so it's nice. And that's kind of cute, don't you think? So I like the texture on there. And it uh, worked really well. And, yeah, one of the reasons why I bought the gel medium stuff or whatever it was, because I have trouble writing on the Mod Podge with my fine point inks. So I was, like, trying to get, like, a gel medium that had, um, like, matte finish on it so I can do that. So, I know when I try it, hopefully it'll work the way I want it to. Because I did want to be able to, like, start writing things on here that would, or on things that would stick better than, I mean, I got to work with my felts, um, with some of my markers, but I don't know, it didn't work as well as I was hoping. So that's why I bought the gel medium, hoping it'll work better. Anyways, I thought I'd put some texture on here and use the, um, modeling paste that I had got in online, this is it. Got the modeling paste, gel modeling, modeling paste. I'm hoping that it works. I um, purchased a bunch of little jars like these. So I put some gel modeling paste in here. Um, so then I will not have to open my jar all the time and dry out the stuff I have currently in my jar. Because it's going to take me a while to probably use them, all of this stuff. So... I'm going to try to preserve my gel medium that way or my modeling paste that way. So let's see here. I'm going to put some of this stuff on here. I'm not even sure how. It's really creamy texture of face cream or something like that. It's not as gritty as I'm used to because I do the polyfill. So that's that turned out okay. It's it's going to take me time to get used to them. I'm sure you guys are like, what is she complaining about? Do you see that corner there? It was a little messy because I'm not used to it. But, yeah. I'll get used to it, right? I don't know. Oh, I don't want it on my Y. I don't want it on my Y. I'm going to scrape some of it off. And I am totally wiggling my stencil. It's so not cool. Okay. I'm totally going crazy here. Don't mind me. I'm going crazy. Okay. There we go. I'm not sure. This is so thin compared to what I'm used to. Hey, but it looks great. Yay. Yay, I did better. It looks good. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm going to flip it and do this. Can you guys see over here? Somewhat. I need a better angle. I need something. Okay. So. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really liking it. It just takes a while to. It's going to take me a bit to get used to the thinner stuff. And I'm being so choppy with it. Oh my goodness. It is like very lots of textures going into that that's for sure lots of texture okay I don't want too much on my letters but I do want a little bit so I'm going to scrape 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 I talk a lot and make little noises a lot just warning you I mean you guys probably know some of this already because you're like yeah been watching me a bit but yeah I'm kind of weird that way and, oh, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. See, I'm getting better already. Yay, me. Okay, this is really fun. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? That one was the best. Best. Okay. More. Oh, I might get connected. I might get connected. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When my kids were little, um, they're like Brendan and Charity. They're like 20 and 21 now. They used to fight over video games, and they used to yell at each other how connected each other were to the video games. It was so cute. You're connected. No, you're connected. Yeah. So that's where we get the connected from. 
Yeah, my family. Special. We are very special. Um, I'm probably going to make a mess of my other stuff here by leaning on it. Okay, I'm going to do this corner. And then I'm going to totally, totally do the top here. Oh, I'm so happy with it. We might have to do more projects. Well, duh. You guys wouldn't keep watching my YouTube channels if I didn't start making more stuff. Okay, anyway. And I'm gonna try to finish these ones off. I don't know if I should have done that. There. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. It's a little mess. That is it. That is so cute. Put like this on this side here. I can't stop. Look at me go. Okay. See, I had this thing open this whole time. I would totally dry it out if I didn't, like, put in another container. I'm slow. I'm a slow crafter. I can't believe how slow I was when I started first taping myself. I'm like, are you serious? Because it will only go 15 minutes of taping. I thought I crafted a lot faster than that. Although when I do draw, it takes me days, hours. I used to draw ink, and I did sell some pieces, but my fingers got so sore that I could barely move them for days after, so then I haven't really drawn for, hmm, I don't know, 10 years or so. That is it. Wow, I think it's cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat dry this or heat tool it my heat tool. And then I'm going to see how well it absorbs like alcohol sprays because I know my polyfill does that really well. And actually, you know one thing I don't really enjoy about my polyfill, I didn't do very good edging here, is that sometimes it will break because it got wet with the alcohol ink, so I had to be very careful and a lot of times I had to seal it really fast after I dried it with like glue. So let's see how that works. I'm going to pause it. Okay. Wow. You know what? That took so, that was such short drying time compared to what I'm used to with the polyfilla that I didn't even have to, I shouldn't even have had to pause the video because that was just crazy fast. So that I like, that's cool. That is really cool. I know you guys are wondering like, yeah, I have not used this stuff before. So this is new to me. So yeah, that's why I'm like, Oh wow. So this is really cool, and it's not it doesn't seem very brittle, so that's really cool. Um, um, now I'm going to spray it. I'm um, videotaping right now. So I'm going to put a bright color. Let's try blue. I'm going to try my blue one. I don't know if I want to do it on the whole thing, or just maybe on the edges. Close my door. Children. Children. Mmm. It's very bluey. That's my blue. That's my blue. Oh, you guys, I got to show you what I bought. I bought these Keep Color Gel Paints for scrapbooking and photo tinting. They were 79 cents. So, I don't paint on pictures yet. I haven't tried it, but who knows? But I was trying them out on just a piece of scrap book paper. And yeah, they're cute. So I bought a whole bunch of them for 79 cents. I bought the blue, green, brown. I bought white. And then I bought this purpley. Well, it's white with sparkly. It's, it's actually sparkles. It dries. It's kind of like, looks white, purpley. And I accidentally bought an extra brown, but hey, who's, who's, there's my price tag. Who's complaining? So I'm think I might go back and buy more because they have all these th things I showed you guys on my little list before there. All these things I got for like 79 cents. And you know what? When you see deals like that, get them. Don't. Close the door, please. Close the door. Thank you. So get them. Don't worry about what... 
I mean, unless you're on a huge, huge tight budget, I suppose. But, I mean, you could always trade with somebody else, right? So, that's what I figure. If somebody else needs something, you could trade. So, and you could try it out. You might, not, you might even like it on something, even though it's not intended for that. Yeah. So, anyways, that's it. And I don't even have to, like, heat tool it here. Like, I think I have one little wet spot right here. Right here. So, that is cool. I like that. So, I want to journal on this. So, I'm going to actually use one of these to show you guys what it looks like. Here's the brown. I'm going to open it. And what I did was I just... Uh, I just used it on my um, paper, and then I kind of used my thumb. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool, eh? Or my thumb. Jeez, ring finger. Wow. Wow. More coffee. I need more coffee. <laughs> okay. Need help. Need help. So that is really light and like a... It's a tint. It's like, you know, when you do the deck, you do it with a varnish tint kind of a thing. That's what it reminded me of. You know, that brown. Well, even the blue looks great. But, um, yeah. I can't think of the word of it. It's not quite varnish, but it's like a tint. Anyways, that's how it looks. I like it. I like it a lot. So for 79 cents, I'm going to go get more. And I'm glad I actually got an extra brown because brown's going to be my fave. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, brown's so gonna be my fave. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be my fave. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So I'm not sure what else I want to add to this page. I really don't want to take away from it's not your fault because it has meaning to it, you know? Um, we've been sexually abused. A lot of times we're led to believe that it's our fault. Um, and if we tell somebody we're going to get in trouble, well, pff, not, right? So that's one of the big things that I want to express to girls is that it's not their fault no matter what the abuser says. And so that message, I want it to stay there. I might darken it up a bit, the message, but I want to also journal on there somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to add a tag. I might just add a tag to the journaling page. Um, see these tags here? I'm, I bought these at that place. Like the pack is like, what, 79 cents? And I bought the pack of 50. And they're those, um, well, you know, address thing, the jiggies. So I was actually thinking about adding them to some journaling pages. And I might just do that to show the girls what you can do with them. And I might just add some kind of information about how I felt when I wrote those words and um yeah how it's totally a lie that people say if you dress that way or whatever you know to get expected well that's making it our fault or you know so whatever that's totally a lie so yeah off subject here sorry guys I'm going to spray it with some alcohol spray. I'm going to use the brown just to see. Because I really like the way alcohol spray. I'm going to do it really slow. I like the way it blops. See how it kind of goes the spots? I do it on purpose. I like that. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> now my kids are starting to write letters. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to quickly heat dry this, and I'm going to keep you guys on, I think, so. Maybe not. I'll pause it. Okay, so I'm back with it, and I'm going to go over the words with some baby wipe in hopes to get it to show more. Um, I'm going to try to pull some of the tissue off and rub it. Sometimes... You like do something and you're like, I don't know. I'm gonna try without ruining it. Yeah, because I like the, the words, it wasn't your fault, to show a little bit more. 
So I'm going to try to do that. Scrape it here around the T. I think I covered my T too much. Get to playing around. I'm like, oh, I'm loving this. And I'm covering everything up. My own fault. Oh, there it comes. My own fault. The ghost is show you that, hey, you can do whatever you want, right? You can just go over, fix what you want to fix. There, it's coming through. Can you see that? Can you see my words? It's coming through. Do do do. You know what would be really cool? If I can figure out a system of having some background music, but then I bet you guys would never hear me. And I'd be singing all the time, it'd be horrible. Sometimes I think I could sing. <laughs> yeah. I think I can sing. My kids are like, Mom! Look at that, it's coming through. That's a lot of scrubbing here, so. And then I don't wanna go over, oh look, I'm kind of ruining my stamp. I could fix the, yeah. Uh, see, it's looking better. I wanna get that T. So, I think I'm a heavy breather. Every time I listen to my videos, I'm like, eh, I'm not working out here, guys. I'm totally, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a heavy breather. Yeah. There goes the door again. So, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to try to work on these words, and then I'll come back. Okay. So, I rubbed all my words. I did make it really thin right here on this part. I'm going to actually add a little bit of more modeling paste on that spot. If I can find where I put my stencil. Where did I put my stencil? There. Where? That's weird. I don't know where. I was going to add a little bit more modeling paste to that spot with my stencil. And I misplaced. Oh, it's on the floor. Yay. I'm taking so much great. Hopefully this stuff is not going to ruin my stencil because I'm really slow today. So I'm going to just add a little bit more modeling paste stuff here to this area. Because I kind of rubbed it away too much and made a hole. Made a hole. I think that's good. So I am definitely have to wash my stencil. I'm not leave it on the floor. Boy. Wash my thingy. So, so far, this is it. And it actually looks great. Great, 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 great. I like the way it turned out. Okay, so I just dried that spot. I'm going to add a little bit of... Actually, I'm going to add some of that brown that I had added before. This Keepsake Colors gel paint. I'm going to add a little bit. Swish it around. It's a little wet still. That's okay. Swish it around. Add a little bit of... The brown alcohol ink paint stuff. And then I also added some black. Did you guys see the black coming up? 
in different spots here, here, here. I have a black wall that was off, um, off the screen now. Not filming. I like the way it's looking. And I'm going to add some more Mod Podge to it because now that, well, even after it was dollar, dollar, dull, and I want it to have more of a sheen than this particular one. So I'm going to add some more Mod Podge all over to give it a nice sheen look. So yeah, you guys, I'm sure you could tell the difference on rubbing the words out. I'm like, they were good, but they were kind of almost not clear. And we really need this message to have some clarity, right? It wasn't your fault message. So yeah, that's why I decided to wipe away with a baby wipe so we can see the important message that I want to come across in my art journal and I'm gonna put um, have some space down here at the bottom for some journaling and I'm gonna do a couple little papers up for you guys to show how I would do it for this but I'm not gonna journal on this particular video because that would be boring for you guys to watch me write but I'll have the paper prepared to journal. So I'm hoping I'm being loud enough. And this video is going to be a little bit of a longie. It's a good thing I um, discovered I can pause it now. Before I was having issues with that, it wouldn't pause and then it wouldn't um, put the videos together. I'm not sure why or what I was doing wrong, but I'm sure it was me. So funny, so funny. I do not know nothing about computers. Never really bothered that much, right? It wasn't my thing. I was more of a crafty, artsy person. Now I need it, and <laughs> at least need some of it to kind of like communicate with everyone. It's so fun to communicate with other artists online, or like you know, with the Facebook stuff and Google. Anyways, this is it. Is it? It looks so good. So I'm gonna quickly dry this, you guys, and then I'm gonna do the papers, little journaling papers. So hold on.